Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can set up a Superbase project locally on your computer. This is really important for local development because Superbase Cloud won't allow you to have more than two free projects. In my previous Superbase database and authentication series, I have only used the Superbase Cloud. But today we will learn how we can set up our own Superbase project on our computer. So let's get started. First, you need two things docker and superbase cli you can set up docker by just installing docker desktop or if you're using linux you can check my docker setup video guide the link will be on the description it's pretty easy once you have docker set up you need to install superbase cli for installation check the documentation for your operating system and you can even install it as an npm package both as a dip dependency or globally so I have already installed it. By the way, all the comments that I'm going to run in this video will be on the blog. I will put the link on the description. Now you just need to go to the project. I mean the repository. I'm on the repository. It's a Nexus project. Now we can add a Superbase project in this repository. So you just need to run Superbase in it. No, no and finished superbase in it and it has created a superbase directory and inside the superbase directory we have this config.toml file it's a toml file and it has few sections like api and then a db if you want to configure your project then you need to do that in this config file. So this will just create the config file, but you need to run superbase start to actually start running the containers. So run superbase start. And it will download the necessary images and run the containers for you. It might take a little bit of time, so let's wait. Okay, so our Superbase project is started and it has given us some information, API URL, storage URL, then the studio URL, JWT secret, and so on. You can even check the Docker containers. Just run Docker PS. So these are the containers are running. You can just run Superbase status to get the information back. We actually need this API URL and the anon key for our Nexus project. But before that, let's just create some tables and data. So you can just visit the studio URL. And this is the project. And it looks exactly the same as Superbase Cloud, except it's just way faster. So let's go to table editor. Let's create a new table. Table name will be to do's. I don't want analysis. Let's add a column. Save. Let's add a row. Now let's just store this anon key and the API URL on our Nexus project. So again run superbase status and I will get this URL. And the anon key. If I go to the paste.js file, here I have a function called get to do's which will fetch that to do's data and print them on the browser console. So let's run the Nexus server, npm run dev. And let's just go to localhost 3000. And if I open up the console, you can see we have an array and the two to-dos. So our local Superbase project is working fine. But before I end this video, let me show you one more thing. I will close the Nexus server. 
So what happens when you try to run more than one Superbase project at the same time? Well, you will get an error. So let me show you the error. I will go to another project. I mean another repository. I will initialize Superbase. Now let's run Superbase start. And you get this error, fail to start Docker container, port is already allocated. The reason is both of the project's ports are the same. So if I cat the config file on both of the projects, if I go to the config.toml file, you see on the first project's port was 54321 for API, and same thing for the second project. And you cannot use same port for both of the projects, so you need to change that. So let's change the ports. And you need to change the port for every section, for API, DB, and so on. So I've changed the ports. Now let's try again. And now our second service projects are running. These are the URLs. Uh, let's go to the studio URL. I'll copy this. And now we have a new project. If I go to the table editor, we don't have any tables. And this is our first project with a to-dos table. Now let me show you how you can stop a project. You just need to run super base stop. And our project is stopped. If I go to the second project, and refresh, you see you cannot access the URL, so our project is stopped. This is how you can set up Superbase project locally on your computer. If the video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Check the blog for reference. Feel free to check the Superbase database and authentication series on my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.